Canva has recently introduced bulk create. This is very useful for people who would like to create a lot of social media posts and then schedule it up front so that it saves you a lot of time. Or if you want to bulk create business cards that you're creating for a lot of people and you want not to copy and paste and copy and paste and waste a lot of time. Or you would like to create thank you cards. Using bulk create can be applied on many methods. It made me think of mail merge when I was working on Word. So we're going to be going through a three-step process that's going to help you bulk create quotes for your social media posts. To find amazing quotes, you can go to Google and search for customer service quotes. It depends on what kind of quotes you would like to use. Don't forget to give credit to the blogger that has created the quotes. The other great source of information that you could use is ChatGPT. If it's not down, you can add your request and then get the quotes created for you. First, you're going to open a blank Excel. If you don't have Excel, then you're going to use Google Sheets. For this tutorial, we're just going to type Google Sheet and open a blank Google Sheet. So it's going to require you to sign in on your Google account. You just open a Google Sheet and you click on blank. After it has opened up a blank Google Sheet, you could rename it. After you've renamed it, you're going to have column A and column B that you're going to give a name. So we're going to give this column a quote column and then the person that we're going to quote. In order for the bar create to work, you need to have different columns that you want Canva to match. And you're going to see that when we get to Canva, you can have as many columns as you like, especially if you're creating a business card or if you're creating a attendance card. So you could create different kinds of columns that you want, and then you can match them when we get to Canva. Once you've created your headings on your Excel spreadsheet, you're going to go back to your content and then add it to the spreadsheet. So I found this beautiful website that I'm gonna link in the description for you below. This is Motivational Customer Services Quotes. You're gonna highlight all of them and then you're gonna paste them on your Google Sheet. Once you've pasted them on the Google Sheet, you're going to have one up until 20 or as many quotations as you like. Remember, you want to create a lot of posts that are going to save you time on social media. You don't want to be sitting down and wasting time. So after you've made sure that your column A is created and it's fine and your name of the person that has given the quote is added, you're going to go file and you're going to download as a CSV. So you click Download as a CSV and then it will go to your downloads on your computer. Then you're ready to jump in on step number three, where you're bulk merging your quotes on Canva. And then we're going to access Canva and we're going to create either an Instagram post or whichever post that you want. If you're busy with a business card, that's fine. So the first post is going to have the data that we would like to connect with our Excel spreadsheet or our Google Sheet so that the system can create bulk posts for us or bulk business cards for us. For this particular exercise, I only have two data that I want to create. I have the quote and I have the name, as you've seen on the Google Sheet. You're then going to scroll on your menu and you're going to go to the three dots if the bulk create doesn't show yet. And yes, please take note, this is a Canva Pro functionality. It's not available on Canva free. So if you want to test it and see how it works for you, you're welcome to go to my description below and then trial it for 30 days. You're then going to click on bulk create. Canva is going to give you options of either entering the data manually. When you enter the data manually, it opens up something very similar to what you see on Google Sheet. So if I click enter data manually, it then gives you two standard columns. You could either add an extra column, which is add text, or you could add an extra column, which is image if you're working on a business card. So you could add as many text as you want, as well as images, depending on what it is that you are creating. So this is how you do it manually. Because we have created a CSV file, then we have the functionality that says upload CSV. 
we're going to click on upload CSV and then we're going to go to our downloads to go find our customer service file. We click on it and we say open and then Canva gives us the two fields that we've created on our Google Sheet. What we then need to do is to connect the quote with a quote and the name of the person that's quoting with a name. So what you would then do, you would click and you would highlight the quotation itself. You're going to right click and you're going to say connect data. Now it's asking us what data do you want to connect? I want to connect the quote with the first one and then it adds the quote. Then the second portion I'm going to, or the name, I'm going to click on the name, right click and then go and select. I want now to connect the name with the data that I want. Once you've connected all of the data that you have on your post, then you're going to click on continue and then Canva will link all of the data that we had. It has generated it for us. We would then click on generate 20 pages and then Canva opens a separate tab from the one that we had and then all of our quotations are added. Some of them you're going to have to fix manually and adjust, but most of them look fine. And that is how you create bulk create on Canva. Cool, right? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the bulk create? I think it's super, super exciting because I have all these 20 posts now that I'm going to schedule in future. Well, then I would go on share and then I would click on share on social media. Then because I have Canva Pro, then I could schedule the posts in future. That's how you do it. So do consider upgrading to a Canva Pro using my link on the description below. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I'm going to be doing a lot more apps on Canva tutorials and I hope you will join me. You can watch this one video I did on apps on Canva. I will see you on our next video. Yes.